Hi, Margo again from Aspen Commons. Thanks for coming back. We're going to do a little bit of water play today. Um, mostly it's the sense of touch, although you'll notice with all the sensory stuff that we do, um, a lot of the senses overlap while you're experiencing them. So today we're going to play with water. The things that I've gathered, you can actually gather whatever is handy to you. Um, this big bowl, because it's what I could find. Um, some water in it from the tap. You will also need some dish soap, or if you want to use your dish, dish soap. And then I grab my measuring cups, baster, um, just some sieves, things that might be fun to play with. You'll need a towel, or maybe two, depending on how old your kids are. Um, and then some water that's a little bit warmer. And we'll get started. So the first thing that you want to do, like I say, start with a bit of water. Add your dish soap. This is optional, but it's really fun. Kids really like the suds. So it's pretty fun. And then you can add your water. You can also do this in advance at your sink if you'd rather. Um, add your warmer water. And then what you want to do is get those suds going. Kids love the suds. Another thing that's really great when you're doing sensory play is that um, all of us actually learn better when we're touching things and experiencing things. So if you can throw in lots of vocabulary when you're doing this, that's great. So suds, kids may not know the word suds, warm, cold, splash, don't splash, all those things. And then really let the kids experiment, like we said in the first post, um, that's why this is good. They just get to try things. So may, they may not have ever tried your turkey baster. So show, you might have to show them how it works, depending how old they are. And then they just play. It's all about playing. They may not know what will happen because of these holes. They may not know that it doesn't hold the water. So let them play. Make sure you're in a place that you feel comfortable, that they can make a mess. The water gets on the floor, the table, even outside as it gets nicer, anything. Just give it a try playing with water. Another thing that I read when I was thinking about what I could show you um, that's easy to have at home, I don't want you to go out and buy anything, we're all staying in our houses, is to try um, things that are paper products because we don't know what will happen. Our children, we don't know what will happen. So let's put this in. Just a package. Kids will love this because they usually don't get to play with these kind of things and they can just see what happens. You can talk about the word soggy, squishy, then you can try other kinds of paper too because they'll behave differently. Most adults know that, but some little two, three-year-olds, they may not. What's going to happen to this paper towel? It's probably going to be able to be torn right apart. So you could try lots of different things. Whatever's, whatever's fun for you and your kids and what's easy, this could keep them, it's so warm, it could keep them happy and um, learning, experimenting for a really long time. You also might have some bath toys or other plastic toys, um, cars, anything you feel comfortable with them playing with as long as it's safe. So we're going to stay away from glass or sharp edges, that kind of thing. Um, but basically, just let them play. They'll really enjoy um, just the experience, the warmth. As I say, the sensory play helps to build their little brains the suds, and then there is a little bit of a smell for, from the dish soap, all those kind of things. So the point is to play, have fun, let them be the experimenters. They may not know how to pour. Whoops, look what happens with that. They might want to do this. I've seen so many children just like to go back and forth. It's really soothing. It's really fun. They see the drips. They learn about sizes, so if they use a little one and a big one, they might start to learn how much water doesn't fit, all that kind of stuff. So it's really just about playing, having fun, enjoying your kids. I also pulled out this really big bin. If you have three kids, it's the bigger the better. You just have a smaller bowl than this, set them up and let them play. So that's the sense of touch, a little bit of fun little bit of experimentation. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks.